Hello everyone, I'm Adam Anderson, product trainer at Maple Systems. Welcome back to our EB Pro training series. In the last video, we added another numeric input to our screen, and we set up a macro to sum up the two values from here, and then write the result out to a third tag which we displayed in this numeric display object here. In this video, we'll make a minor modification to our project, but instead of re-downloading to our HMI, we'll simply use EB Pro simulation mode to see how it would look. So if we look at the project tab, we see there is online and offline simulation mode. What's the difference? Online simulation mode attempts to talk to any controller or PLC that your HMI is configured to communicate with. We haven't set up any communication drivers in this project yet. We'll take a look at that a little bit later in the series. But in practice, it makes sense to use online simulation generally only when your PC can talk directly to the PLC, whether over serial or Ethernet. Offline simulation mode, on the other hand, can be used at any time. It won't attempt to talk to any configured PLCs or controllers, but it will give you a good sense for how the visuals and objects you've configured will look and act were you to download the project to your HMI. The best thing about simulation mode in EB Pro is that it lets you test out any feature you wish without buying an HMI from us first. Note that you can run a simulation for a maximum of 10 minutes at a time. Generally that's enough to get a feel for how well your project is working or whether you need to make any changes. By the way, I highly recommend checking out all of our sample projects available on our website maplesystems.com. You can download these and the EB Pro programming software for free and test out countless features. Let's go back to our project now. As an example, let's just make a minor change to this numeric display object. We're just going to change the font to Arial Bold, change the size to 20, and then let's change the color too to make it stand out a little bit more. Okay, now we'll go ahead and use the offline simulation mode and we can see how it looks. We can now click on the numeric objects and some function button here and we see that new font and color and size. Okay, so that's how that would look. Let's make another modification. Let's add some more text to the slide. So we're going to call this my sum one. So we'll have a text label that we can put next to our numeric display object. And then we'll just align this together using this align horizontal center button. And we'll go ahead and run the offline simulation again. So that's it. That's all you need to do to use offline simulation, and I encourage you to test this out on your own. Try downloading some of the sample projects from our website. And in the next video, we'll go on to talk about bit lamps and toggle switches. And then after that, we'll explore more features of the EV Pro software. Thanks, and check out our next episode.